Welcome back. Your election authority covering all angles of the Illinois primary. As results continue to pour in, something we've been watching all day is voter turnout. And William, you've been using exclusive technology all night to get a better idea of what voter participation looks like. Uh, tell us, what are you noticing at this hour? What I'm noticing is something that will probably make a lot of Americans blood boil. It is pathetic voter turnout. Sorry to use hyperbole so quick here. And right as uh, my software kicks me out here, um, I'm going to log in as quickly as I can. But we're going to be talking about the primary here in Rock Island County. 21,000 people voted for Republicans in this race in the, in the rather, the excuse me, 2022 midterm election. 21,000 people voted for a Republican. When it won't let, allow me to click on it now because it's exiting me out of the app here, but only 4,400 people voted for the Republican nominee in this in this primary here. That's not 50% of what we saw at the midterm. It's barely even a quarter. And keep in mind, midterms to begin with, generally we see maybe 60% voter turnout. Just the numbers we saw across the board today are are just frankly pitiful. And just the overall numbers too, I mean, 25,000, that's just the number of Democrats that voted in Rock Island County in 2022. The overall numbers when we look at the, the federal, the, rather the entire state, were not good either. I mean, not Republicans nor Democrats. And this is what happens a lot of time when we don't see a competitive presidential primary. But there were congressional districts to vote for. There were ballot questions in Ogle County, and we're not going to see things tip to 25% voter turnout. There's some that might not even get out of the teens as we see these final numbers here. I'm sorry that I'm not able to get our updates here on the screen because they really tell a story. Maybe we'll be able to get it at the end of the newscast, but the numbers speak for themselves and they tell a story that is really sad. We have people who have fought and died for people in this country to be able to show up and vote, and we did not see that today. I hope to get those numbers a little bit more clearer for you. Brittany, I'm gonna send it back to you and try to get this fixed up here.